Hey everyone, I'm here today to review the PowerPlay foundation from CoverFX. So um, I received the foundation for to review from Influencer, so I'm going to give you kind of my take. So the foundation looks like this in the box. Um, I chose my color, I kind of looked and saw what their scale was and I was like, what brand has letters and numbers? So I um, went to Sephora and found my color IQ and I figured out what color would be my color, not knowing what the brand was um, and figuring out that it was cover effects beforehand. Um, so I am G80, my Sephora color, it's either 2Y12 or 1Y12, I will figure that out and let you know down below. But um, yeah, so this is the box and um, this is what the foundation looks like. Um, it doesn't have a pump or anything, it just kind of has an applicator tip like this. Um, so that was a little like interesting trying to get it out and not like, sque like squeezing it and not pumping it. But um, out of the bottle, I was afraid I picked too light of a color. Um, on my skin, it actually ended up um, being perfect. And so I'm really surprised by that. So I actually wanted to do the video now before I get a little too summery and a little too golden bronze and um so yeah it's a really great color and then putting it on i realized so it's apparently waterproof sweat proof all like crease proof all the stuff and putting it on i normally have to rush and put on makeup because as i'm putting it on it is creasing um this was staying in place and um i was doing my normal routine which isn't anything extravagant at all, but um, I was putting on my Benetint and I think the Benetint kind of broke it down a little bit on my cheek for a second, so I had to kind of blend that in. Um, but everything else about it seems so far so good, so I'm wearing it now and I'm gonna test it out for the day and see how it goes. I also received for review the um, CoverFX Perfect Setting Powder. And so I love this because I have Laura Mercier and I have it in the original color, but this setting color is in deep and it is still translucent, um, but it is more my skin tone. So when I do put on my Laura Mercier, I I feel like a little bit ghostly. So this, um, this went on, no, didn't really like, I put it on, I, I put setting powder on over my eyeshadow because I have really oily lids. Like I have to prime and I have to set. Um, and I put it on, it didn't affect the color too much. It did kind of take away a little bit of my shine, um, like my glitter from my uh, my eyeshadow application. But other than that, like everything seemed pretty spot on. And so it supposedly doesn't flash back. Um, so I'll test that out later. Um, I'll show you how it's held up. I'm gonna um, go, and go on my day and I'll be back later to show you how it looks at the end of the day. So hopefully I'm like, my eyebrows are probably doing like crazy like question marks or something, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how it turns out. So stay tuned. All right. Hi everyone. I'm doing a midday check-in. Um, uh, wasn't planning on doing this, but, uh, something funny happened. Um, I had an incident where I say funny. I was actually really sad. I had an incident where I cried. So, um, I went to go look at my foundation, um, just to check and see like, I'm okay, by the way. Um, but I looked and I have tear lines streaming down my face and also from my nose running, I have some missing patches of foundation. So um, this was like from like blowing my nose. This was from crying. So um, yeah, it didn't quite hold up to that, but um, I will go and do a touch up and we'll see what it looks like later by the end of the day. So yeah, just, you know, randomly gave me more to film about unexpectedly. So now I know this doesn't last through tears. So now you know. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm back and I'm checking in again. So I did my touch up earlier and um, I also took my nap. I took a nap and I tend to get really oily when I nap. So I had to blot as per usual, but even through that it held up. Um, there was no creasing, especially in my forehead. I tend to get a lot of creasing there. So that worked out and um, yeah, really, really, it stayed put. So um, I'd say it's a yes for me from, for this foundation. And um, yeah, so I'd love to do more videos for you. So um, along these lines and other types of videos. So if you liked this, uh, definitely hit subscribe and I'll have more for you soon. All right, thanks for watching.